Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a grow water inverter and you can see the status light underneath the screen of this inverter is red. Now a red light that, like that means there's a fault with the system. And if you have a look at the message on the screen, I'm just going to tap on the screen, light it up a bit more. It says residual eye high. Residual eye high on a grow watt inverter like this uh, means that the inverter has detected that there's an issue with the ground fault current indicator inside the inverter. Now this could potentially be a problem on the solar panel side of the system or it could be a problem inside the inverter. So realistically you're going to need a local solar accredited electrician to come and have a look at your system and work out exactly what the problem is. But what you can always do first is try a reboot of the system. A reboot can potentially uh, sort out little glitches like this potentially. So we're going to try that first. So usually you're going to have a shutdown procedure on your system, which should be something like this. Turn off the solar supply main switch, which will be located in your switchboard, or the inverter AC isolator, which you may have, may or may not have. We've got one here, so we're just going to throw that one off. And then it says turn off the PVA DC isolator located at the inverter. We've got one of those over here. So we're just going to throw that off. And then we're just going to wait for the inverter to shut down. You see it says there no AC connection, so it hasn't detected any power from the grid, which is good because we've turned it off. And we should see in a moment that go completely blank. There we go. And now we're just going to reboot the system. Now the reboot process on an inverter like this is nowhere near as important as a shutdown process, just as long as you turn everything on. So we're just going to throw the PPRA DC isolator back on. And then we're going to put the AC back on as well and we're going to wait for the inverter to start up so we see okay it's going to count down now for 62 seconds and then start op trying to operate so we're just going to wait for these uh, 55 seconds we might hurry this up a little bit okay now we're getting to the pointy end here so it's just starting up now Hear the relays trying to click in. Okay, so it's connected okay. We've got the green light on at the moment and it's producing power. That's what we want to see. But how long will it actually stay on is a big question. And you see this one's just come up with a red light again. And the residual eye high message again. But what we'd recommend you do is get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can come and test the system, test the solar panel side of the system, make sure, sure there's no earth leakage issues on that side, ground faults on that side, uh, which could be caused by moisture ingress into the panels or damage to some cabling or uh, moisture getting into an isolator or something like that. And uh, if that's all fine, then it's potentially a problem with the in actual inverter, which is it is in this case here. So we're going to have to replace this inverter. Grow Watt inverters came with a five-year warranty. So if it was installed in the last five years, you should be able to claim this under warranty with Grow Watt. If it's uh, been installed longer than five years ago, then unfortunately you're going to have to replace it with a good quality replacement inverter is what we'd recommend. So if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland area, Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions can certainly help you. If you're somewhere else in the world, I recommend you get in touch with a local solar accredited electrician who can assist you further. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.